Hello everybody and welcome to Spiritual Findings with the Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Fairlyn. And today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Geminis for June 2019. Happy birthday to some of you guys. Alright, so when I say general reading, this is going to cover your love, your career, your soul story, what's going on for June. Sometimes these readings can be a little vague. If you find yourself interested, subscribe and more importantly, hit that notification bell. I do live streams every once in a while, guys, and I offer free readings on there. So you might want to go ahead and ring that notification bell because it is first come first serve when I do live streams okay so go ahead and get on over and get yourself on the list I also do paid readings to via live stream for some of you guys that are looking for more in-depth readings all right so general reading for my Gemini's for June 2019 your element is earth you guys are of the third house and your ruler is mercury mercury goes retrograde in July but we will talk about that in July's reading so let's just focus on June we had a couple retrograde retrogrades in April. We have one for June, and that is on the 20th, and that is Neptune is going retrograde. Okay, guys? These retrogrades can bring a little bit of chaos, but don't worry. You know, chaos does bring change. Sometimes we need a little motivation to get out of our comfort zones and start some new things, new relationships, new career path, maybe even an education change. Okay? All right, so let's see here. I'm reading right now from the Rider weight deck. I'll be pulling one from the angels or one from the fairies. We will see where my intuition leads me after this reading. I'm kind of feeling maybe one from one from both the angels and the fairies for you guys. Okay, so let's see. Hmm, there's flying out today. All right, you have the King of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Magician. So apparently, my Geminis, we are kind of coming from a place where we have a lot of anxiety, possibly a broken heart, maybe some health concerns that we need to focus on, uh, a lot of sleepless nights. And that really pops out to me in the Nine of Swords. The King of Swords tells me that you are really trying hard at something it could have been a relationship it could have been a career that just ended up being a dead end for you no promotions you know just kind of stuck in one area and that you didn't even really like perhaps maybe you're looking to be more advanced in it maybe even an area of study that you thought that you would want your whole entire life and now that you're in it now that you're taking courses now that you're interning you're like yeah this isn't really for me which happens you know a lot of young people out there make decisions that you know end up with a lot of student debt and they kind of get to it and change their mind which is fine we all go through changes in life and it's okay to try hard at something gemini and fail okay because those are the stepping stones in life. Those are where we get our experiences. But I need you to stay out of the mindset here of the Nine of Swords. We need to be able to get a full night's rest, okay? We need to be taking care of our body, okay? We need to be meditating, take care of your mind, okay? It's very important that you have a good balance between mind, body, and soul right now, Gemini, because if you're... You know, some of you might have even lost a loved one recently, and that's where the anxiety and the depression, or it could be past trauma, okay? Maybe an addiction, Gemini, that you just can't get yourself out of whatever it is. We need to accept it, okay? Just accept the past. There is nothing that you can change. There shouldn't be any, you know, coulda, shoulda, woulda in your brain. Just move forward accept it and move forward and I'm very excited about this reading it's telling me that a lot of you guys are you know starting a new chapter maybe a new book in life you know whether it's you know you're totally starting over from a marriage or you know you're quitting that job and moving on something you know you have the magician card here Gemini the magician card so it tells me whatever happened in the past is in the past right now 
you're going to experience a change this June, this summer. Some of you might have even already experienced it. You have the assets to move forward. You are ready to move forward, Gemini. Manifest your dreams. It is possible. Say some positive things about yourself in the mirror every day. You know, have certain chants or maybe little decor or symbolism around your house, you know, and your workplace that just remind you of the positive that there is in life. Maybe a, a a goal to attract abundance to you know attract a love interest in your life maybe to renew your love life that you currently have you know try to spice things up again whatever it is manifest it you have that ability so use it whether it's you say a little prayer at night or you have a spiritual ritual or like i said just some fancy decor it doesn't have to be expensive just something in your house or you know an altar just somewhere beautiful to look and remind you of what it is your goal what you're seeking of just a daily remembrance okay it could be you know on your dashboard in your car safely you know safe guys Guys, I don't want you guys to have any flying objects in your car and blame Vera here. But you, you know what I'm trying to get. It could be, you know, a gemstone in your pocket. You know, that's why I'm very attracted to gemstones because each one of them resembles something different. And if you need, if you're missing something in your life, kind of bringing that stone in, whether, you know, you do believe in the power of crystals or whatever, it actually is just a daily remembrance. Okay. All right, Gemini. So, you are going to be magical for some of you. I know some of you had a birthday in May, but June is looking like you're kind of getting over the hump of the the emotional roller coaster that you have been on for the past couple months, couple years for some of you guys. Um and and we're getting we're getting to it. We're getting our power back, Gemini's, and I'm very excited for that. The magician card is probably my most favorite card uh, I'm a sucker for <laughs> the ten of cups but the magician card really hits at home for me because it's telling me that you're you know a coming into a spiritual chapter in your life B realizing that you can manifest your dreams you know C you're finally gathering all of your life skills and your talents and really making some of it and it can go on to D you know E it goes on and on Gemini you guys have a lot of possibilities they vary between all of you guys and you know you guys are special you guys need to communicate get up on that soapbox and just express how you feel to your loved ones or express how you feel like some of, they always say Gemini's you guys are the reporters the writers you know you you speak out with your ruler being mercury you know, Mercury does go into retrograde in July, so, you know, it should be get it done June, you know, and then we go back into a resting, enjoying, taking vacations during the retrograde in July, okay? Like I said, we'll talk about that in July's video, all right, guys? More reason to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Yeah, it's one thing to subscribe, guys, but you won't be notified when I'm posting or going live stream unless you hit the notification bell. And I love talking with you guys. The live streams are fun you might be able to get yourself a free reading as well as it's educational you know it's just a fun community a lot of people you know chat amongst themselves or you know will will end up having a conversation sometimes I label my live streams tarot and chat or tarot and talk it does get real fun Oh, before I shuffle from the Angels card, for some of you guys, you know, we're almost on nine here, nine minutes here. So obviously, if you're still around, you, you like me. So I, <laughs> I am celebrating spiritual findings with a Gypsy Soul's one year birthday. Yes, I started the channel back in April 2018. So we're still kind of celebrating the new birthday. I actually was taking a little bit of break when it did turn one year. But I have a giveaway for the month of June in July I am hosting a giveaway and how you enter is you subscribe if you have not already ring the notification bell and share the page I have a goal of 8,000 subscribers by my birthday August 31st so this promotion here this little giveaway here is to promote the channel as well as celebrate the birthday I know you guys were really digging the giveaways last year you know whether it was the free readings or the gemstones the t-shirts a lot of you guys had fun with that and I love connecting with you guys too so 
this is a little take home basket. I have some tapestry, your own deck of tarot cards. This is the Rider weight. It's actually the deck that I use here. It's a really good deck. It's not flimsy. You can shuffle it various different ways. I always do the light shuffle because I love my cards and I don't want to ruin them. I have two different types of sage. Okay, these are farm grown. You got to worry about your white sage, guys, because it is in danger. So be careful who's your supplier of white sage. I have incense here. I have Epsom salts. I have a salt lamp for some of you guys who don't have a salt lamp it does bring a relaxing purification energy to the room i even have my little string lights of salt lamps there and a bag of gemstones i have different types of quartz hematite um, carnelian jaspers all a bunch of good little gemstones here for your healing sessions or you know you guys can do your own tarot gemstone pooling cards i love that no i shouldn't say cards you kind of just like shuffle up the gemstones in a bag and pull them out and then you know, whatever that gemstone reflects you need in your life. They also sell tarot decks. Um, in my holistic holistic expo video that I posted a couple before this, I got my own gemstone reading done. It's really cute. And um, it's pretty much a deck of cards that have a whole, whole bunch of different gemstones in it and it tells you what you're kind of needing in life. All right. Okay, so this is our reading from the Rider Waite. I'm going to pull one from the angels, and I'm not quite sure of the angel, um, the fairies yet. I'm going to pull from the fairies, but we'll see. We'll see what my intuition says. But right now, we are pulling for my Geminis for June 2019. All right, let's see here. And we got one. All right, five of fire, completing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. Okay, so I do feel like that does tie more into the nine of swords, but it also is kind of like, you know, you're here, you kind of do have that heartache, the anxiety, the lack of sleep, the depression, you know, maybe just some guilty feelings of maybe something you've done in the past, Gemini, but whatever it is, it's, it, you're going to deal with it. You're going to deal with it, you're going to get that closure, and you're going to move on and move into the magician phase. Okay, guys? All right. So with that, I am definitely feeling one from the fairies. Okay, let's see if we can get some positive advice for my Gemini, some inspiration. All right, let's see here. For my Geminis for June 2019. Can we get some, some extra clarity? I'm feeling this one. Oh, I guess these two. We'll do the two. Oh, I like this, Gemini. We have, I will zoom in up on the cards then when I'm done the reading for some of you guys who can't see. We have walk away, leave an unhealthy situation and enjoy, and enjoy the doors that open as a result. That's a beautiful card. So there definitely is something you're you're hanging on to or still completely have in your life that doesn't serve you anymore, Gemini. You gotta leave it behind. A lot of you, I feel like this is a toxic boyfriend or girlfriend or maybe even a past partner that's just really still has your mind, okay? So maybe you need to clear your house, clear away of the things that might still be, you know, hanging around and have a good sage. Make sure you have those windows open so the negative energy has somewhere to slip out, okay? That's one thing that when people do, you know, they forget to open up a window, okay? You know, I have sage in the care care pack here, guys. All I said you have to do is subscribe, share, you know, um, ring the notification bell, and more importantly, well, lastly, importantly, comment below. Comment the name that you want for me to draw the hat in. I will do that January. Sorry, a bug just flew by. Um, January, or I'm sorry, July 31st at 9 p.m. Eastern time. The rules are below. Anyway, we have another card. I wanted one card from the fairies, but two popped out, and I have express your individuality. Allow your true self to shine because you're awesome, Gemini. All right, this card is adorable. I love her little outfit. She looks so confident. Don't let anybody talk you down, Gemini, okay? All right. This sums up our reading for June 2019 for my lovely Geminis. And like I said, happy birthday to some of you guys. I really hope you get what you need to get done for the summer. And then when the retrograde comes in July, it's relaxing time, okay? Put your feet in the sand, go on that hike, go on that uh, camping trip, whatever it might be. Go get it done, okay? 
All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I am your gypsy, Beerlin. You guys have a beautiful June.